Hello, this is Chris. Welcome back to Sweet Acre Koi Farm. We're going to do today's Friday's Pontan Breedings. And we're going to give you a quick little look at the pond right now. Um, we'll discuss the polytunnel and why it's still on. And yeah, everybody's doing good. We still got really decent temps down there. That's a three foot temperature. And you're looking at six feet down. And I already checked this. This is at 53 on surface temp, which, yeah. I don't know if you can see it or not. Hopefully you can. Yeah, so we're looking at 53, so that's not too bad. Um, we did have a little bit of a hiccup during the storm. It blew the polytunnel to where it was covering the fall it actually went down and then it was covering it over there as well and what happened is it kind of jammed up and started draining this pond ever so slightly and yeah so I had to come out here this morning and pop the tunnel off and open up the spillways and this pond started going down the bog started going down and this pond started rising so disaster diverted yeah, so I mean, the quicker I can get this plastic off of the pond and get the filtration hooked up, the happier I'm going to be. But I already fed everybody, so everybody has eaten this morning because we have great temperatures. And everybody's doing really, really good. Everybody looks really healthy. And yeah, so I think this summer... They may even start eating out of my hand because I was putting my hand down into the water and giving them their food and they were like right there and I could feel their little noses nipping on my the tips of my fingers. So that was pretty exciting. I really wish I had my camera going for that one because that would have been great footage. But of course, I missed that quote unquote Kodak moment. Um, but yeah, let's go check out those pond temp readings. All right, here are our pond temp readings for the week. Uh, right now, we're looking at cooler weather because of the tornadoes and storms that came through yesterday because we were doing really good in the 70s, and then that cold front came through with the storms, and now we're starting all over again to start climbing back up again. And, you know, so, I mean, it, it's not that bad. It's holding steady, which is nice. The winds are... It's a little windy out there right now. Yesterday when we had the storm coming through, I took these wind readings before the storm came. So yeah, you can imagine it was really, really bad. It got in the high 30s at some time, at some points. So it was, it was pretty windy. But we didn't get what most did, which I'm very, very grateful for. Because yeah, some people, they got tornadoes. They got really horrible weather and we... We're really blessed not to have that. Um, but today's high is going to be 57. And the low is going to be 36. No rain or snow in the forecast. And the koi down six feet below where they're supposed to be sleeping is at 51. So that's pretty much all I got to report right now. Uh, we do have... Uh, days that it's Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday that the nighttime is going to be down in the 20s. <clears throat> and I'll put that up here on the screen so you can see that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be in the 20s. So we're going to not completely take off the, the polytunnel until after those days. And then we're going to take everything off because after that, as you can see, we're looking at um, 30s at worst for the nighttime low, which that's fine because the temperatures are going high during the day, and, you know, I'm I, it's going to heat it back up. I'm not worried about it, but I'm just worried about the 20-degree nights, and, yeah. So we'll just go ahead and we'll leave the tunnel on as much as I don't want to, and we'll cover it up, and then, like I said, after that, we'll just go ahead and take them off. Okay, and we're back. Um, I would like to take uh, a quick minute to offer my sincere condolences to all those who lost their life in the tornadoes yesterday. They were pretty bad. Um, we were very, very fortunate to 
be kind of in the middle of the bad stuff where some of it was to the north, but the most dangerous was a little bit south of us. And we definitely dodged a bullet, so to speak, and very grateful for that. But also with that gratitude comes sorrow and sympathy for those who couldn't dodge that bullet. So we would like to express our sincere condolences to the family members for their tragic loss yesterday. Um, also, we probably will not be doing pond temp readings next Friday, obviously, because we won't be here. Uh, I will do a Thursday final pond temp reading for quote unquote the winter months and that will end next Thursday before our Las Vegas trip. We leave on Friday the 22nd. So I will do the last pond temp reading on Thursday. Okay, that's it for Friday's pond temp readings. And we're gonna keep it short because we are working on other videos that we're gonna be posting up soon and one of them is the Easy Bio Filter uh, instruction video and installation video. So that ought to be hopefully helpful to some people who have not used it or are not familiar with it. And we have some other projects that we're working on, which it's hush hush right now, but you will soon find out what those are. And anyway, yeah, you don't wanna miss the live coverage that Maureen from Keith's Koi Haven and I are going to be doing for Las Vegas first ever All-American Koi Show. And if you're not w familiar with uh, Maureen and Keith's Koi Haven, go give her a sub because that way you're going to see her streams and my streams. Make sure you go sub her channel because we're going to be going together and two women in Vegas with a bunch of koi and a credit card is not going to be boring. Trust me. So you don't want to miss either one of our lives. So with that being said, hit that notification bell. Click that subscribe icon. It's free. There's no charge to subscribe to any YouTube channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, click the like too. That helps me out. Leave a comment. Everybody, thank you so very much, and we will catch you on the next video. And like I said, it'll be Thursday because we're not going to be doing pond temp readings on Friday. We will be on a plane heading out to Vegas. So we will post up Friday's quote-unquote pond temp readings on Thursday, and that will be the last pond temp readings that we'll, we, we will be doing. Spring's here and the polytunnel will be off and we won't need to. We'll still leave the, temp, the thermometers in the pond and I'll check them to see where the pond temps are, but I'm not going to do any official post on pond temp readings because winter is now gone. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in. I hope everybody's well. And we will catch you on the next one. Everybody, thank you for watching and stay sweet.